Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a really cheeky way to present lots of images all at once in Adobe XD. So you can see we've jumped into XD here and I've got a load of images all presented on a single artboard and the artboard is 1920 by 1080. So if we select the artboard tool, scroll down to the bottom and create a preset at exactly that same size. What we can then do is select the rectangle tool and we can start drawing our shapes. Now you can do this with hundreds of images. So if you have 200 images, for example, and you want to present them all on one page, this works very easily, even with a high number of images. For this tutorial, I've got 15 different images. And because I've got 15 images, I'm going to have five different columns and three rows. So I've just got to take the dimensions of my document. So the width, is 1920 and because I've got five columns I need to just divide 1920 by five and that gives me a width of 384 so when I create the size I just set this rectangle width to 384 and we'll just give this a color for now it doesn't matter because we will replace this with an image in a moment and the height is 1080 and we've got three rows so again, I can go to my calculator and go 1080 and divide it by three. And you get 360. So I know that 360 is the height. This is exactly why they teach you maths in school. So then I'm just going to position this in the top left corner and then simply select this and select repeat grid. And you'll see these green guides appear and I can drag this out and I can drag it down. Now it automatically adds a gutter here of 20 pixels, but we can reduce this to zero. There we go, set that to zero. If you have trouble setting it to zero, just zoom in nice and close and do it that way. You get a little bit more precision. So once that's set to zero, I can snap this out to the edges and simply switch over to my images folder, select everything, drag them on, and voila, you've added all of those images really quickly. And as I said, this works with hundreds of images as well. So you can create an artboard that is absolutely huge and had add hundreds of images in seconds. It's awesome. But you can also double click to go back inside the original image and you can adjust the size as well. So you can change the size. You can then go and change the gutter space. It's just absolutely brilliant. So for example, if I duplicate this artboard here, and I change the orientation to portrait. All I've got to do now is just double click on the original image, swap the width and the height around. So if we set that to 360 and this to 384, I can then bring this in. So it fills the size of the artboard and we just got to zoom in and adjust that gutter spacing back to zero. and then just bring that back out to the edges. And there you go, we've quickly rearranged the entire artboard from landscape into portrait format, literally in a matter of seconds. And I haven't found an easier way to do this, you know, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, you can do it in all of these, but from my experience so far, doing this in XD is by far the quickest. So if you want to lay out your portfolio, for example, or just tons of images for a graphic or a social media graphic, whatever it is, this is a really quick and easy way to just grab all those images, set your layout, and then it just adds them all to that grid literally in seconds. And there we go. There's a really quick and easy way to lay out tons of stuff in Adobe XD. Guys, if you'd like to become a patron of the channel and get access to private live streams, free downloads, behind the scenes, or just to chat with me directly, there's a link to my Patreon page in the description. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.